In Chapter 4 of F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby, Nick Carraway catalogs a list of the various notable and colorful guests who attend Gatsby's parties, further emphasizing the diversity and peculiarity of the social milieu that frequents his mansion. This list underscores the reach and influence of Gatsby's allure, attracting a mix of people from different backgrounds, all drawn by the spectacle of his wealth and hospitality. One morning, Gatsby invites Nick to lunch in New York City. During their drive, Gatsby shares details of his past, claiming to be the son of wealthy deceased parents from the Midwest and to have been educated at Oxford. He also mentions his service in the war, showing Nick a medal from Montenegro and a photograph from his Oxford days to support his claims. Despite the tangible evidence, Nick remains skeptical, sensing that Gatsby's narrative seems rehearsed and improbable. This conversation highlights the theme of deception and the construction of identity. During lunch, Gatsby introduces Nick to Meyer Wolfsheim, a shady character with underworld connections who is rumored to have fixed the 1919 World Series. Wolfsheim's presence and his association with Gatsby cast further doubt on the legitimacy of Gatsby's wealth and his mysterious background. The meeting with Wolfsheim introduces the theme of corruption and the moral ambiguity that surrounds Gatsby's rise to wealth. After lunch, Nick meets Jordan Baker, who reveals the true reason Gatsby sought Nick's acquaintance. Jordan recounts the romantic history between Gatsby and Daisy Buchanan, Nick's cousin. Five years earlier, Gatsby and Daisy had a passionate romance, but Gatsby was sent to fight in World War I, and Daisy married Tom Buchanan. Gatsby bought his mansion in West Egg to be near Daisy, hoping to reunite with her. Jordan tells Nick that Gatsby wants him to invite Daisy to his house for tea, so Gatsby can arrange an encounter. This revelation adds a layer of depth to Gatsby's character, showing that his extravagant displays of wealth and social prowess are driven by his longing for a lost love. The chapter underscores the theme of the past's influence on the present illustrating how Gatsby's life is consumed by his desire to recreate an idealized past with Daisy. His meticulous orchestration of events to see Daisy again reveals his romantic idealism and his determination to achieve his dream, regardless of the present reality. Nick agrees to help Gatsby, marking a turning point in the narrative where Nick becomes more actively involved in Gatsby's personal affairs. This chapter deepens the mystery of Gatsby's character while also exposing the driving force behind his seemingly inexhaustible ambition and wealth. It highlights the interplay of illusion and reality, showing how Gatsby's entire existence is built on a dream he refuses to relinquish.